Hey guys, it's uh, Connor from Mods Gaming, and uh, today Minecraft updated. It's uh, 1.4. So yeah, it's exciting. There's some new items in the game. Uh, one, a uh, couple I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, if you haven't looked already, there's something called uh, the Wither. And right here I have the Wither Skeleton Skull. And uh, if you go around, they only spawn in nether fortresses. So you yeah, gotta go to the nether, find one, find a stronghold, and uh, they only drop the heads sometimes when you kill them. So out of about, mm, from my experience, out of about 50 of these that you kill, you're, you're going to get one head. And uh, you need three heads to do this. So put it on there. There, there. It's kind of like the uh, the the golem, iron golem. That's how you make it. But you put soul sand, and then the three heads on top, and it explodes after it's done charging up. Uh, but it's really hard to kill. And here, if I can, it'll hit me. I have wither two. It uh, just lowers your health. But your hearts uh, turn grayish. It's, it's really, really hard to kill, and it, it regenerates its own health. So you have to keep hitting it over and over and over. I, I have no idea. Props to the people that can do this on survival. Die. I'll show you what he gives you when you kill him here. See, he changed colors there. Because when he was charging, you saw he was blue. And now he's turning red. And you kill him. And, uh. We even die. Hmm. Weird. Oh, there they are. That's right here. Right here. See that little thing? It's a nether star. And uh, I'm going to grab a crafting table here. I need some obsidian and some glass to make it. Uh, this is how you make a beacon. You put four obsidian, nether star in the middle, and glass around the top. And that's how you make a beacon. Um, yeah, you can place the beacon down. It during nighttime it'll give off light and heat, as you can see, because it's melting the snow. Uh, but there's another thing, an anvil. I believe you put the sword in there and put the diamond in. It'll re repair your diamond sword all the way up. And then you can also rename it. So I'll just name it Diamond Sword of the Wither. Let's see what that does. Made a nice little noise there. So as you can see, if I hover over it, it says Diamond Sword of the Wither. And it's fully repaired. I can do the same with my armor, I think. I take it off here. I'll just show you one. My helmet in. My diamond in. Enchantment costs one. So it costs. You see, my XP went down, I think. Um, yes. It's actually really cool. And then with the beacon, you can click here and it sees with these pyramids here I think you can make them out of any of these the uh, emeralds, diamonds, uh, gold or iron but I think I think it has to be made on a pyramid though so yep see the light went away there so if I grab uh, we'll just do gold blocks because if you're going to do this in survival I bet that's what she'll use. So if we look here, it looks like it's four long, I believe. 
One, two, three, four. I actually have no idea. But what you would do, you'd make a pyramid the right size, and then you place it on top. And depending on the size, it lets you choose one of these speed, haste, jump boost, resistance, strength, or regeneration. Depending on the size of your pyramid. And uh, I, I've done it before, and the size of the pyramid makes it so if you have the smallest pyramid to use the power that you get from it you have to be standing closer to the pyramid now if you were to make the biggest pyramid you could be standing a fair amount of ways away and still receive the enchantment or power so yeah that's basically just a little preview or not preview but showing 1.4 the new update so I, I figured out how to make the wither boss it uh, took a little time so I hope this helps people that are like how do you make it and what is the wither boss well thanks guys for watching and uh, remember to comment rate and subscribe and uh, see you next time